Hello, my name is Carl Blake. Welcome to my YouTube channel, my first ever video. <sighs> So, I've been requested this so many times by people, just random people, seeing me in drag, all of that, always wanted to know, how do I do my brows? How do I cover them up? So, my first ever video, I thought I'd show you guys how to cover your eyebrows as a true drag queen should. This is my personal preference, other people do things differently. This is just the way I personally do it. So, you don't have to follow exactly everything I do, but I would recommend it, because it works. So, first thing you are going to obviously need is an Elmer's glue stick. This I prefer over anything. All the other sort of glue sticks just never worked for me. Always too clumpy or too watery, took too long to dry, or just never dried at all. Still sticky and shit. So, Elmer's glue stick. This one's the washable one. I am in Australia, so you can get it from, I think, Office Works? But I do know Spotlight has it, and they've got the bulk amount, so get them. That's what I mean. They're good. The second thing, disposable spoolie. Third thing that I use is Prosade. This one is the liquid version. I know you can get a cream of it, but I can't find it anywhere. I don't know why. No one seems to supply the actual cream version of it. I know Art Simone uses the cream, but I found this one on Scotty's Makeup. This is an Australian website, I believe. Put the link of it down below. It was only probably about 20 bucks. I don't know if it includes shipping, I can't remember. It was ages ago that I bought it, but I would highly recommend getting this. My fourth thing that I would use is my Krylon TV paint stick. <laughs> I don't understand why queens do not use TV paint stick. It's the best thing ever. And it works. It just covers it. It be gone. I probably gone. So, fifth thing I would recommend, rubbing alcohol along with a sponge. This I've got at Kmart, it was from the OXX, I think. It's just the generic Kmart sponges that they sell in those big bulk packs. Good to use. So I know some queens use spirit gum to put down their eyebrows. I just never find that this actually does enough of a base on your eyebrow and actually a thick enough consistency that holds it down. It, it holds it down, but not to the level that I want to where it is completely smooth and no trace of your eyebrow at all. So me personally, I would not recommend using the spirit gum, any version of it. Let's get started. I'm going to zoom you in. You're gonna see every problem with my face and you're so welcome, but you're gonna learn. You're gonna learn how to put your eyebrows down. It's gonna be nice and smooth. Before I start, I did wanna to say too, always, always pluck your eyebrows. As you see, I have very manicured eyebrows. Bang. This, isn't because I do drag, but I do prefer it because it does make the surface itself and kind of like the base product just sit better, everything goes smoother and it's just so much nicer. So I would really recommend manicuring your eyebrows, at least plucking them, getting rid of all the stray hairs that are around the sides, up the top, up here, don't know what this is called, but up here, and any of your little monobrow in the middle. Get rid of it. So, let's get started. So now we're all up close and personal. We get to see all my problems. Don't worry about that or that. And don't worry about me. I'm looking into my monitor that's over here. Uh, I'm also not monetized, so I can swear all that I fucking want, all right? So first thing we're going to do, rubbing alcohol with the sponge. Just spray it into the end of the sponge and rub it into your eyebrow. This is going to remove any sort of excess dirt, any oils, it's just gonna make it so much easier for the glue to actually stick down and lay your brow smoother. Now, because rubbing alcohol actually dries itself, doesn't take too long, surface is already nice and dry and smooth, what I'm gonna do is use my disposable spoolie and just run through my brows and help separate them. Elmer's glue stick. This is also the purple one, but I've had it for so long that it started to actually go this pink colour instead of purple. But it was originally purple. What we're going to do is get a nice big amount of it out. Then, I'm just going to smash all up into the brow. At this part, I do do circular motions to just have the hairs grab straight onto them. And just work it through the brow. 
this part will get extremely messy and look disgusting before it somewhat looks better. <laughs> So now the glue is all in my eyebrow, I'm just going to get my spoolie, run it through just so I can separate some of the glue, separate the hair so it doesn't stay this nice clumpy amount as you can see here. Now some other queens they do it your whole eyebrow completely up, I personally do not like doing that once again. I like to do the front part, so the front of my eyebrow up and the rest of my brow I like to have it sit as it would naturally sort of lay. To me personally I think it just lays so much smoother helps the base just be better. So while I'm doing this too, I'm not putting a lot of force into moving the eyebrow hairs up, only because I don't want to disturb the glue too much. I want to try and leave as much product on there as possible. So it does look a hot mess at the moment, but it will get better. So, I'm gonna go back in with that glue stick again before it completely sets, and just rub some more into there. Same thing again with the starting of your eyebrow, just doing little circular motions to get as much of the product in there as possible. And for the rest of the eyebrow, I just like to try and softly stroke it through. And just so you're aware, I do this probably about five to six times. I know I've clocked myself before taking about 20 minutes just to do my eyebrows alone, but to me, I'd rather take the time, make it look as seamless and as smooth as possible just so it can make my foundation, also my eyeshadow, everything else just lay on there properly. It looks a hot mess, looks disgusting. How the hell can you make this smooth? That's why I would use a baby wipe. I do not recommend using makeup wipes because only reason, that shit is expensive. Baby wipes, cheap, does the same thing. Or you can also turn, alternatively use your spit. This will help dissolve the glue, make the surface so much smoother, which I'll show you how to do with a baby wipe. All you have to do is just go around the edge. And just, in a way, blend it out itself don't want to push too hard because you don't want to move all that product of the glue that you put down just enough to smoothen that edge of the glue. If some parts seem more stubborn than others you can put a little bit more force on there to just smooth it out just as long as you don't dig your fingers into there to remove the glue. So to make the process go a little bit faster and help the glue dry a little bit quicker, I recommend using a fan. Other people do say use hair dryers. I've noticed whenever I've used a hair dryer, especially with the Elmer's glue, it becomes too hard too quickly and it's almost like a brick. So I'd rather use a fan. It does it slower, in a way, more naturally. So, let's get dry. So if you thought we were done, we ain't. We're gonna go back in once again with glue. As I said before, I did this probably about five or six times. Once you have the first two layers of glue kind of a little bit more harder, I would suggest just go in for your life with your eyebrows, put as much glue on there as possible, but try and be somewhat light-handed so you don't move the product underneath. It should be dry at that point, so it shouldn't move, but because the glue itself will reactivate itself, I would recommend somewhat do it slowly. So now I'm going to do the final layer of glue. After I've done this final layer, I'm also going to use blending powder to help push in and also fill any gaps. One thing I did forget to mention at the start, I do not, and I would highly recommend, do not powder between steps. This causes cakiness and will make your brow look chunky like peanut butter. We don't want that. So 
So now I've got my final layer of glue on, I'm just going to go over with that baby wipe once again, clean up the edges, don't push too hard as I did say before, so we don't want to remove as much of the product, we just want to try and remove the edging of the glue so it's smooth and seamless as possible. So now while that glue is still a little bit damp and a little bit wet, what I'm going to do is use my Krylon blending powder in the colour Flesh. This because it has a bit of a tiny bit of a flesh orangey sort of tone, I feel like helps cancel out and also remove some of the grey colour that your eyebrow hairs will naturally pull through. And what I also do to push this in, I use my nice big, big, big fluffy powder brush, put it in, in, in there, oh there we are. Coated. So I'm going to use the powder now on my powder puff. I'm going to push this into my eyebrow with a little bit more force just so you can actually push it closer to my skin and make the surface much more flatter. But first I will just lightly put it in there to help set the top layer of the glue. And now just pushing it in. Doing this as much as possible too, I do find it helps fill in any of those sort of gaps, any little holes, anything that might potentially be there. Well, that will stop it looking as smooth as possible. Seamless. So now the powder's in there, I'm just going to go through with a nice big fluffy brush and help push off any of that excess powder that might be there. So before we go through a foundation, I'm going to go in with my Scott's Makeup Prosade. This I'm going to put on the end of, once again, another sponge that was from Kmart. Then I'm going to just dab it onto the eyebrow itself. This is just going to cause another layer of protection for the eyebrow, especially if you're a performing queen. This is a good trick to do. So with this, I do like to tap it into the brow. I do not swipe. I do not push. I just tap it. I do not force it where it doesn't need to go. If it starts to feel sticky, I don't try and get in there anymore because it might remove the glue that's underneath. Now the same with the glue, I'm just going to go back in with the fan for the prose to help just set it again, just a little bit quicker than normal. So I would recommend after doing the prose step to use your powder once again, push it into the eyebrows just so it does set it because Prosade itself is technically a contact adhesive so if you do touch it with your fingers and potentially anything else before it might remove some of the glue that's underneath and just disturb it and you'll have to do it again and we don't want to do that. So just using that powder once again and just lightly dabbing it itself onto that area just so we can set the Prosade as much as possible. Now going back in with that fluffy brush again, just to dust away the excess. So now that the prosade is all set on my eyebrow, I'm just going to go in with my TV paint stick in 4W to add some more coverage. Now this part of the process too, I do like to go quite heavy handed with the foundation just so it can obviously get into any sort of cracks, any crevices that potentially may still be left behind and just add as much coverage as possible to the brow itself just so we can hide a little bit more of that man. So now the Krylon is on my eyebrow, I'm going to go back in with a Krylon paint stick and another sponge, just push a little bit more of the product into the sponge and also a dry sponge just so it doesn't absorb as much as the product and also potentially disturb any of that glue that might be underneath. So this I'm just going to lightly tap it into the area and as I did say before this sponge is dry just so it doesn't absorb any of that product and just so if there's any moisture it may potentially disturb the glue that is underneath. So now pushing the TV paint stick into the eyebrow itself and not Fully blended, doesn't need to be at this step. What I'm going to do is just use that fluffy brush again. The blending powder, dunk it into it, and 
before tapping off any of that sort of excess that could be on it, I'm just going to put it in my hand just so I can go back in if I need to. And what I'm going to do at this step too is just lightly dust over it and just tap it into the brow bone itself. What this is going to do is just set the foundation, put everything in place, and once again tapping it into it will not disturb anything under it or disturb the foundation that we've also just put in there because as it is a cream, it is prone to moving if it is pushed too hard. Going back in that powder that I put in my hand, just going in there more, just to definitely set it, make sure every little nook and cranny is set and dusted and done. So now what I'm going to do is go in with that fluffy brush again and just dust around any sort of excess that could be on the brow bone itself. So there we go guys, that's it, all done. Eyebrows laid down, snatched, perfect, nice and smooth, seamless. And that's it guys, that's all you need to do. I'm not going to bother about covering up the other eyebrow because it's just a video. I don't plan to be going out after this, it's just for you guys, just so you can have some educational video. Alright, so that's the end of the video guys, thank you so much for watching. As you can see, eyebrow is laid down and perfectly flat and flawless. And remember, if you liked the video, show it below, give it a thumbs up, Subscribe down below. I'm hopefully going to be uploading any makeup related sort of videos once a week. And yeah, thank you for watching. Bye guys. It's the egg people. It's the mole egg people. <laughs>